Black boy, tell me how you really feel. I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I just wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. I wanna feel so aligned, sublime. One time for the state of mind, two times for elevated rhymes. No architect when I lay design, I drown. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I'm scared. All right. Okay. And again, you have to speak for black women. So this has to be a, uh, what is it called? Fem noir perspective. Okay. Why does the word submission trigger y'all? Mm. I feel like these questions aren't that difficult. They're not. Mm -mm. It's difficult from a woman's perspective because women don't want to wrap their minds around it. And I think that's why women are not okay with that word because they don't want to inherently accept well, how do we how do we get there? How do we get to this point? We if we're not even willing to accept the word, we're definitely not going to be willing to accept what got us to being icky about that word. We are the most helpful and kind unhelpful motherfuckers on this planet. A woman will go to the death for her friend and they will create the most cozy space for their family, the most endearing space for their best friend. But for some reason, when it comes to a man, it's a pit that you get in your stomach like, oh, hell no. Nah. And I think it's also like, what are my, well, like, what are my friends going to think if I talk about catering to my man? I can cater to my friends all day. Me, for example, I love having my friends around me, like as far as holidays and dinners and like things that make my friends feel good. I love having us all together. We're all like that. All of my friends, we have, I have a tight friend group. We're all like that. We just like having each other together. And we're, thankfully, I don't have friends that if I were to do that same thing for a man, that they would look at me different. But I could see, like, a, a feminist <laughs> or a woman that um, doesn't think that men are, in, or they inherently don't think that men are deserving of that feminine, submissive energy. I can see them doing those things in that same setting for their friend or for a family member at Thanksgiving, making it warm and lighting candles, this and that. And then maybe going home to their man and being like, oh, don't talk to me like that. You're, you're talking, you don't even make your plate? Fuck no. Just acting wildly different. So those like small little things, like we, I think as a society, have a way of blowing things up bigger than what they really are. Like submission doesn't have to mean I'm getting on my knees for you. Like that's not what it has to mean. Like it doesn't have to mean like, like you see in movies, like slaves being like, yes, okay. You know, it doesn't have to be like that. Like why is it that submission can't be the little subtle things like simply mm, can you hand me that babe or come help me with something and you listening to the directions of what they're saying or can you go and get me whatever because I'm doing this or not even an explanation they don't have to give you an explanation just like just like little things I think that um with the advent of feminism like we are so transfixed in our own autonomy that we've forgotten completely about our natural ability to want to take care and cater to other people. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mate or a partner, but we have a natural ability as women to want to take care of other people. Feminism has like inserted this level of selfishness inside of us where my autonomy and my ability to be independent is king. That's what it is. 
And whenever I prove in a social setting, because usually it's a social setting, right? With these, you don't do this like stuff and by yourself or whatever. But in a social setting, if I can prove that I'm the smartest or I can prove that I did this thing on my own, it's like an accolade or it's praised. Mm. We've also like, mm, I don't know if I want to stop here, if I want to keep going. I don't think that black women, I'm just going to talk about black women. That's what this is for. <laughs> it's not about women. It's about black women. It's not about men. It's no, about no, no. I was going to say, I, I was going to say black versus black men. I'm just going to talk about black women. Mm. I think that we have abandoned our sense of community outside of what makes us comfortable. Like, as, as long as we have friends to go out with, I don't care about loyalty so much. Like, I don't care about sacrifice. As long as, like, my lifestyle is comfortable, I don't care about sacrificing anything from my, like, the community. I think that a lot of us, I, I have a goddaughter, <clears throat> and we do the best that we can to provide a, you know, a pretty, pretty solid community for her. But I still know, I still see like sometimes my selfish ways, especially when I was younger, because she was born, I think, maybe I was like 20, 21. When I was younger, I was like, no, I want to go out. Like, I want to party. I have zero regard for the, even though that she was young, thankfully I grew out of this because she's six now, but I have zero regard for this child and her well-being. I just want to go out and do whatever I want to do. We've, excuse me, we've lost like our sense of like loyalty to our communities and to ourselves. And we are so fucking brainwashed. As a black community of women, we're brainwashed, Ellen. Like, it's really, really heartbreaking the influence that social media and these celebrities really have on us. And the, and it's also heartbreaking how much our mothers and our fathers have, I don't think ruined is the right word, but just haven't given us the tools because they don't know anything more. So it's like the heartbreak is perpetual. You can't blame it on, on mother, grandmother, great. You can't blame it on anyone. It's a perpetual thing. And we do the best that we can. No, I'm not about to start crying. Okay. Yeah. We do the best that we can. And our parents did the best that they could. But none of that matters because none of it is enough for these babies, like these kids out here. Like at all. I'll stop there. Next question.